we'll come back all of you to the next day session on this uh, fusion uh, uh, order management implementation so one of our uh, participant srinivas has got a requirement so srinivas can you open up your uh, video also and then can you speak now so the lot of others can also see you actually uh, no no my video is not working uh, okay um, yeah. so i will i will explain nana uh, so okay. actually i am working for i am working for uh, one of the cisco client so we got one cloud project and uh, that is for order management cloud nana so mm -hmm. basically i want uh, a br br under document and md50 like a templates uh, which is uh, worked on our any one of our meeting participants so mm -hmm. i need um, roles and responsibilities and uh, project descriptions like that nana that's what i'm looking for that nana uh, that is initial stage right mm -hmm. so at least we have some idea for that so srinivas has got a project and then he is looking for some basic documents like br100 so now br100 is now replaced with the an010 if any of you have got the an010 or any other implementation set of documents just be handed over to the customer please forward it to him because i don't have anything on the order management actually forward it for the procurement and inventory available to everybody so if you have anything what happens please forward it to srinivas <clears throat> so okay thanks so okay. i will share i will share my email id nanna in this uh, yeah. meeting chat yeah in the chat what happens he is going to share his email id and then uh, please all of you please make it i can order it and then uh, what happens you can even uh, forward the information to him. so srinivas sure. email id is available on the chat actually some of them may not be attending this training srinivas can you pronounce your email id so that what happens you can even uh, yeah. Yeah, S R I N I V A S. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. S R I N I V A S. Can you ask? Uh, uh, V E L A G A. V E L A G A. Uh, sorry, sorry. V E L A G A P U D I. Belaga Pudi. V E L A. Yes, correct. No, no. V E L A G A P U D I. Belaga Pudi at Gmail dot com. Is it? Yeah, no, no. I shared in a uh, chat. Uh, please copy that. Hey, it is V E uh, V E L E G. Yes. Velaga uh, Pudi. Yes, no, no. Velaga Pudi. Nine. Correct, no, no. Velaga Pudi. Nine. Yes. Srinivas. Dot. Yeah, correct. Gmail. Dot com. So, if any of you have got any of the documents, please uh, share with him. So that what happens? You can now still kickstart his activity. And then uh, one more requirement uh, has come to me. Fine. Here in this batch, um, uh, we have one uh, big man. Uh, he may not be able to. Uh, uh, he is not willing to he may not be willing to uh, reveal his name actually he is a head of a supply chain in a big company and then his company has got a very big project in us actually so his the us client has almost purchased many many modules and uh, they want to kick start it as soon as possible and then they are urgently in need of a 10 uh, supply chain professionals also right? immediately afterwards they will even need more also and right? immediately they want some uh, 10 supply chain professionals basically so if any of you are uh, uh, thinking of a change Fine. The company is a big company, and so what happens? You can even uh, uh, I don't want to reveal those things. If he is willing, what happens? He will tell you. And then, if you are willing to, what happens? Uh, thinking of a change into the fusion projects, what happens? You can uh, forward your resume to me, and then I will now forward to him actually. <clears throat> so that way, we will now work upon. So that uh, we will now see what uh, what exactly happens on this one. Right? So so many other things are coming up now. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I have a door. It's location for. Uh... the location yeah is a good one by initially what happens uh, they are now going to operate from bangalore actually so the first project will be from bangalore and then they already got another project for which what happens the people have to travel on site so the second project will be on site but this project itself will run for about a two hours time because two years time i think it's a big one fine it is a uh, what happens a, a global uh, implementation basically uh, maybe around 100 100 plus countries uh, they have implemented so it's a very very big implementation so naturally that many legal entities will be there and what happens a big one so they are expecting this project to go for around uh, two years and then they want a big team basically not only one or two every front actually but he is the supply chain head and then what happens he wants it so if you are interested you can even uh, forward your resume to me i will forward it to him actually but uh, it is, but even though uh, what happens uh, they are uh, based in hyderabad but uh, what happens uh, the, the present position will be the present team will be sitting in bangalore and operating we remote operation ha huh? remotely operated anything um i am not sure about whether they will allow you to work remotely or not fine uh, so if you can even send your resume and then what happens i uh, will be able to uh, uh, i will be able to what happens forward to him and then uh, you will be able to um, get uh, if you are uh, what happens a shortlisted uh, he, they will contact you and then other name you can talk to him 
Nana, may know the company name, Nana. Oh God. <laughs> uh, see, he has to reveal his name and company, but he is not uh, willing to reveal. So what to do? <laughs> it's a good company. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, in Bangalore location, Nana, Tech Mahindra also got uh, one big project. Uh, that is also for two years contract. Is it so? Okay, okay. Fine. Yeah. Initially, they, they want 10 members, uh, Nana. Is it so? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Oh, okay, you are working in Tech Mahindra, isn't it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, Nana. So, there also you have a lot of vacancies. Hmm? Yes, yes. Uh-huh. So, Tech Mahindra is also having lots of vacancies. That's what he's saying. Srinivas is saying. Plenty of openings are coming in many, many companies. Basically. Yes, yeah. Many companies are jumping into Oracle like anything. Uh, Fusion. Fusion projects are now going to come up in the next six months uh, in a big manner. So keep a watch. Okay. So Srinivas mm-hmm. also you can contact his mm-hmm. mailing there. Yeah. Nana, this is uh, Das here. Yeah, uh, on this same context, actually, you know, one of my colleagues is uh, in need of HCM consultant, human, human capital management. So if you need anyone who is desperately looking for a chance, Probably you can share me his profile. I can take it forward. Okay, okay. so if anybody or oh, any of your friends is in need of a, what happens a human capital management opening, so please forward it to me. I will now forward it to Das actually. <clears throat> das company is in need of a team. In fact, the requirement is an I mean to say immediate travel to US mm-hmm. on a business trip. Yeah, yeah. and then afterwards uh, um, they will now work for the H one B permit. Correct. Yeah. Okay, good. Any other doubts for anybody? Good then. So you can send your resume. Nana, yeah, yeah. One question, please. Yeah. So when did the A zero one zero document has come into? It has come long time back because I created the first. Document. Which version of the Oracle apps? I think uh, even release nine was having the A zero one zero. I made okay. first A zero one zero and release nine actually. So this is to do with Fusion app itself. Yeah, yeah. The document? Yeah, you can okay. refer my document. You go to the inventory folder, then what happens? You can refer my document. I made it for okay. So people who are still using the Oracle released, well, are they still following the BR100s? BR100s is no more there as far as Fusion is concerned. When in EBIS, okay, fine. There you have the BR100. But here it is not so. Okay, okay. Thank you. So good then, and then we'll start our activity for the day now. Fine. So, so many openings and then uh, please help Srinivas with any documents, whatever you have, his uh, mail ID is in the chat now. Fine, you can do it. But, <clears throat> so, let me go on the share my screen now. Yeah, fine. <clears throat> now, uh, we will now open up our this thing now. Before I open it up, what happens? Uh, there are some two, three guys who are having a problem in the mission instance, actually. Fine, I will not tell you. Uh, some two guys have written to me that what happens? They are unable to get an item. So, the, the system is very sensitive, actually. I will not tell you about what exactly you are doing on this now. So, click on sign in now. <clears throat> This sometimes what happens the touch, uh, what happens uh, the play entry exit chain. I have already switched it off, but even then it's coming as a what do I don't know. Okay. So here uh, the what happens the item creation is a very sensitive one. And then people are finding it difficult or it's not coming up properly because this instance has been what happens uh, done a lot of exercise on this now fine so many people are working on it now so you have to exercise a small caution on this now fine that i will not go to manage item class now manage percentage item percentage class percentage now manage item class So go there and then here I go to the security and then here what happens? I will now uh, query with the 003 and then I will now delete and then make it. So let me go to the query mode. Fine. The organization is a 003. If I'm entering now, I'm putting the 003. So 003 has got plenty of things on that. Fine. So they have made it for so many things for the product hub actually. Uh, anybody's number is there? Anirban, you are having a problem. What's your number? Tell me. Anirban. <coughs> 
that's Nisa underscore uh, hmm? underscore. What is that? Can you repeat again? Uh -huh. Nisa India. I'm unable to hear you properly. Can you repeat again? Yeah, that is A Saha. A S A H. A S H A Saha. A. Is it so? Yeah. Yeah. Everything is in caps or not? It is all capital. All capital. A S A H A. Okay, very good. A S H A Saha. He is having a problem. God, it's not visible at all. So, okay, well, I'll do the A Saha. I'll add it. No, add it. Company is having a problem. I'll go there. Click on add. Company will click on plus now. Then let me add it. Now. <clears throat> so, here, what happens? You go there. I make it as a product data keyword. Caps lock is there. Product data keyword. And then give a tab now. So once when you give a tab, what happens? It will be coming and then choose the Vora one now. So there are two things that are available again on this one. One is a product data steward copy and then steward one product data Vora. So choose the Vora one of the product data steward, click on OK now. And then put your organization OK now. And organization is what is this? What? A S A H A. And then I will not give a tab. And then I, I should not. What is this? A S. Rather, uh, yes. And then click on search now. Yeah, what is your organization code actually? Fine, I maybe think it would be a name, I think, probably. KS. I click on search now. Oh, it's not visible at all here. What happened to the R now? There is some mistake on this R now, maybe. So I believe I am trying in another instance, none of oh, the one which is not this other instance. Now. So what you do is after having given this, you give a save and close and not save now. If we, if we give a save, it will not work at all. Right? You give a save and close, and then afterwards requery it, and then afterwards what you do is after that you requery it, and then add it now. Afterwards you, you go there, click on it, and then requery your number now. I go there. I will not go to this place. Go to the security first. Save and close now on the function security. Afterwards requery your number now. I will say zero zero zero. I am going to put it. I go there. Requery it now. So after having requery it, what happens? You choose this, and then go to the what happens in the bottom. What happens? You must get the information zero 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 in the actions also. The organization has to come in the actions. If the organization number doesn't come in the action, what happens? The proper selection is not there. Otherwise, again, close and open now. It's a very sensitive one. And then afterwards, go to the actions and then go to select and add. In the select and add, what happens? When you give a search, it may not even come fully. If you give a search, it may not come properly. Because I click on search now. Sometimes, what happens? All the things will not be coming properly. So, here only one of some of them are only coming. Uh, it doesn't matter. Fine. Uh, what happens if the majority are there? It's okay. But uh, again, what happens? You might have chosen a wrong one, basically. Yeah, that is the middle planner. And then by the side of the actions, what happens? You click on this. It has sidebar. The sidebar. Okay, okay. If the sidebar is not working, what you do is with the control, you keep on selecting one by one. If the sidebar doesn't work, you keep on selecting this because it's a one-time exercise. And then sometimes the sidebar doesn't work at all. Okay. With the control, you keep on selecting like this. Got it now? So this way you do it, you'll definitely you'll be able to achieve that result. Only the same. Yeah. Hello. So that way you do it. No, fine. That way uh, the problem gets solved. No, fine. It's a one-time exercise only, and so what happens? You have to be slightly somewhat patient, basically. Otherwise, uh, two three times. And then whenever something is not working, you select and then delete everything and then save and close and then again reintroduce it. No, fine. And then do clear all the what happens? Your browser cookies. No, fine. You may be wondering about what is going to do. I have one student who is having a problem. When he works on one laptop, it is not working. When he works on other laptop, it is working. It is a very strange one. So the browser cookies has to be what happens cleared actually. The browser cookies, the local machines cookies must be cleared, and then then what happens? Sometimes it works. Fine. It's such a sensitive one, the bigger one. But what to do? We you can't help it actually. Fine. Until you achieve the results, what happens? You repeat it again and again, and then uh, you will be finally succeeding. This is the only one which is having the function security, data security, and then that is causing plenty of problems. Okay, fine. That works. I just want to uh, what happens, uh, give you a, what happens, uh, heads up on this particular problem, basically. And go there. So let us now go ahead on this one. Go there. Works. So we go there. Come on, open up this now, worksheet now.
go there. Now, what happens? We have a kit here. So the kit has been designed properly. And then here, what happens? It has got a laptop, which is a shippable product. And then the carry case, which is only shippable, but not billable. Whereas the extended warranty is only billable, but not shippable. So once when you make them as a kit, we have to give the price of the kit actually. Right? The price of the kit. So the, the kit's price has to be given. It is a D0109. So let us now give the price of this D0109. So let us now sign and then let us give the price of the kit. That includes what? The shippable product of what happens laptop as well as the free item as well as the warranty put together. So the price has to be given now. So sorry. I'm going to sign out and then let us now go into mine. <clears throat> Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to be the price of the products basically. I'm going to be zero one. Click on signing now. So I will now go to the pricing administration here. So remember that what happens, uh, Tech Mahindra is also having a two-year project. And then uh, Srinivas has told that, hey, Srinivas, uh, do we have vac vacancies there? People are required for that or not? Yeah. Yes, no, no, no. Uh, we required uh, 10 people, I think. Okay, fine. So what you can do is you can even send your resume to Srinivas also. Fine. <clears throat> yes. The other one, I don't want to reveal the company because what happens, uh, that guy uh, wanted to keep it uh, slightly secret. So what happens, I'll just... Uh, uh, you send the resume to me also. Fine, and I will now forward it. So click on the pricing administration, and then I'm going to give a price for the D0109 product, which is a kit actually. The kit price will be given over here now. And then afterwards, what happens? We will now create a sales order actually. So go there. So click on this task carousel, and then here, what happens? You go to the manage price list. So here, I will now start. Fine, go there. It is what? It is a D01 price list now. Fine, go there. Click on it, and then uh, and click on search now. One, I will not go there. Select and click on edit now. Fine. Let me give the price for the D0109 now. The kit price I'm going to give it. Fine. The laptop, the kit. Fine. The kit now. So the first kit price only given. Fine. Go there. Go there. Click on this now. I will now go to the items area and then click on add now. And go to the items. And then click on plus now. So we are now going to get the price of the kit now. So click on plus. And then product is what? D0109 and then give a tap. The item will be coming. So the description has to come. That is what the item is coming properly. So wait for the descriptions to come now. It's still working now. So the description has come now. Fine, go there. Click on the create charge. I will now give the prices, let us say $51. <clears throat> so this is the price of what? Is the price of uh, what happened? The laptop, the carry case, which is a free item, fine, that is not having any money, and then the two-year extended warranty also. So we have a shippable product, two shippable products basically, and then one of them is having a price, and then the extended warranty is also having a price. All put together is $51. So we are going to go to give it. Go there and then go down, and then I will not give the price is $51. <clears throat> and then I will not give the start date of this now. And go there, and then start date. Go there, that's it. Fine. Whatever the price of the kit, we had to give it away now. And go click on it. So click on save and close now. Which the price of the uh, D0109 is now given now. It takes some around five to ten minutes now. In the meantime, what happens? We will go on and do the other activity now. So it takes some around five, five to ten minutes, even though it has now come very fast actually. Uh, I will not see, uh, I will not go there directly and then see this one. If it comes, it's okay. <clears throat> Otherwise, we will not do other ones. Right? We will not do other activity on this now. So, uh, on the other day, what happens? Uh, we have done the credit check now. Fine. Credit check has been set now. We will have a look at it now. But what you have set over there now? So, click on it. You know, so, there. Click, fine, go there. so uh, you will now go to what? Manage customers. <clears throat> click on it. And then go to the setup and maintenance and then go to the task. Manage customers now. So, click on it. And go to search and then put manage customers now. Manage percentage. Cust percentage and then entry now. So manage customers are one. So you go there, put it C S T K B R S. Get more what happens. Go to the manage customers. Let me query my customer now. My D01 is my customer. So I'm not going to query my customer now. So click on it. And then uh, the organization what's called the name is what? D01 now. And then click on search now. Yes, searching it. Go there. So here, uh, I will now select the customer over here now. 
and sell the customer you know by here uh, you go to that go to the customers accounts and then the accounts will not click on it and then see what the amount we have given as per the credit check is concerned i will not go to the profile history now i will not go to the profile history in the profile history what happens you can now see what happens including credit check is enabled on this now by this has to be enabled and then on the other day dasar then told that what happens if the credit code is enabled every order will now go on a hold and then just be placed so this is for each and every order to go on a hold actually and then this is only for enabling it for the credit check and then on the late charges we are given the uh, what happened the values now. the late charges we given the values now fine so we are given values now fine uh, every order uh, cannot be more than 100 and then all the orders put together cannot be more than 1000 so this how uh, what happens the credit check has been designed now like that so we will now see the functionality of it so to enable the credit check these are the only things not only enabled we have we have got a two more what happened the profile options has to be set now fine like that so in this place what happens the account profile we are enabling the credit check fine right? include the credit check and then in the late charges what happens we are given that for every currency we are given now fine each and every currency the ocl and cl has to be given order credit limit and then the credit limit fine right? what else fine long give a cancel now i will give a cancel and come on with now now we have to set up two profiles on this right click on done now come on with sir if i if i have to disable the credit check then what i have to do uh, in the customer level also you can add, include the credit check if you remove it it will be disabled actually so that is unrelated No, it is not in edit mode now. Fine, that is why I have only view mode. When I go into the edit mode, it will be coming. Okay, okay. Okay. When you go into the edit mode, I'll just show you the D zero one. I click on search. Now. You go to the place customer one now, and then here will be getting the. I click on the account now. So here, when you go to the profile history, <coughs> here. What happens? It is not in edit mode. So actions and then go to correct record will not take it to edit mode. When you give a correct record, what happens? It takes it to edit. I am not doing it now. Okay, cancel now. So after having set the credit limits on the customer, what happens? The two more profile options has to be set now. Fine. We will go on and set up. Click on done now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll go there. So it's uh, basically order management parameters now. Fine. There is a there is a uh, hey, center of everything now. Fine. Manage percentage. Order percentage. Percentage, para percentage, man, or management parameter is the important one. Fine, brother. So here uh, we have to set up two such uh, profiles or whatever the, uh, the parameters or whatever you call it. Now, fine, brother. Bonus. Let's set up one. Go there on the credit check. Go down. And remember, whenever you do any changes on the customers, it has to be collected and refreshed. But when you make a change on the order parameters, no need to collect and refresh. No, so there is no need at all. Fine. Collection and refresh is not required. Go there, brother. So here, activate credit check on order submit. Now, fine. Let us go there, and then I will now. What happens? Go there. Uh, it's all no, no, no. Fine. You have to add your business unit over there. Fine. You have to add the business unit, and then I will now make it as yes. Fine. So I will now make it as yes. So first of all, what happens? The D zero one is now yes. Fine. So activate credit check. Credit. Uh, credit check on the order submit. Upon submit, what happens? It will be activated. Fine. Go there. So once when you make it, what happens? Always give a minute. Save now. Do not save. So again, go on the how to get it. This is the one and activate credit check, and then afterwards you go down. There is one more profile now. After this, what happens? You have credit check failure at order submit. Credit check at uh, failure at order submit. And go there. So we have one thing, and then we will now add our stuff. And credit check uh, failure at order submit. And click on plus now. And let me add my business unit number. Go there. Drop it down. It's a D zero one. So drop it down. D zero one. And then there are multiple options so that you can now make all the change fine on the draft status. I will not say on the submit status only. I am going to do it. Uh, submit the order uh, with the hold on uh, item le levels and then fill check. Fine, brothers. So you can even on the draft status also can check it up. Fine, brother. So these are the two options which are available now. So these two profiles has to be set. So for my business unit, what happens? This is the one. So this is on the what credit check failure and then another is activate credit check. Credit check failure and activate. Both of them are going to come seven also. Now this hold will not allow you to ship the product at all. You go there. You won't be able to ship the product. You go there. And then I, I click on it. And then I go to the home. And then let me go and then create a sales order for this one. And I'll set it up. I click on order manager. Remember, these parameter changes need not be collected, but customer changes has to be collected. Now, yesterday we already collected it actually. So click on create order. So let me do it now. For Nana, right here I have a doubt. Actually, in EBS R12, now we have to assign the responsibility in particular hold. Yeah, yeah. There are five setups are there as far as EBS is concerned. Right? There are five mm -hmm. setups are there. So if you don't do all the five setups, it will not work. Even on the payment terms, also we have a tick mark on credit as a credit check. That has been what happens is minimized actually. So we have only two. One is about including credit check and then the amount. These two are sufficient actually. 
fine that's been yeah. simplified actually fine. so when okay. part of the credit check of abus what happens it has been simplified for that and then credit check can be done at the multiple levels basically at the time of ordering at the time of shipping or at the time of picking everything can be done ebus but that is not possible there and it is only a simple level actually we don't have that much of a multiple levels of credit check actually it may be coming as and when what happens it goes on because only reduce 30 in the have introduced the credit check actually so uh, as per the customers required more what happens they even finance it actually okay. it can be done only at one level the order one so this is what is so hundred dollars the limit now fine for that will not put uh, item fine for that is a d zero one uh, and the d zero one zero one will be tab now you know put the standard order so it's a hundred dollars limit fine for that I will not put say one two three then you can click on add so and then here what happens uh, for the uh, line level we will not put the defaulting now fine for that so it's not if you go to the line level. You won't be getting any anything. Can go there. So the date has to be shifted to three days. Now, fine. I know given order. The request date has to be shifted to three days. Now, fine. Go there. Okay, on it. So D zero one defaulting has been done now. So D zero one defaulting. So this is how it is. What? Uh, that is order date plus three. Is the request date? Fine. The twenty two is coming now. Fine. Go there. Supply sub submit note is coming now. So on the other day, Manoj has given a clear thing. What happens if you use order date? It is working. So I set it up. The defaulting as what? Order date plus three days is the request date. So likewise, I have set it up. Is working properly. Now this will now go on a hold. If I give a save, so will not go on a hold. Now. <clears throat> Upon submit, what happens? It will be going on a hold actually. So it is now that I click on submit. Now. So four two, what happens? Two two zero nine four nine two zero nine is the order which is now getting submitted now. So you can now see a hold icon coming up somewhere here itself. <clears throat> that will be on a hold actually. So order is created four nine two zero nine. I'm going to click on OK now. You can now see a hold icon has come over here. You can see a hold icon. But if you click on it, what happens? I'll show you what type of hold it is. So it's a credit check hold is applied. So this is what is. So the hold is applied now. And then if you go inside also, you can now see the hold. Find what is the at the at the line level itself. What happens? The hold has been applied now. So there is an X mark also. Find click on the X now. Find how to have a look at it now. I don't know whether it will now progress on the work order or not. I'm not sure about it. I'm click on OK now. You now have a look at it. Whether the this activity is now going ahead. Go to the actions, and then go to the switch to fulfillment view. You now, you now have a look at it. Fine. Go to the fulfillment lines, and then see whether the activity is progressing. If the activity is progressing, ultimately, what happens? The shipping will be stopped. Actually, if it progresses, you now click on it. There is already X mark over here now. So you can now see hold. See that means it is not even starting now. Scheduling will never go further at all. So it is now stopped. And probably what happens if it is interface to shipping also? What happens there? We can even introduce a hold by a manual means now. Uh, and I am not sure about how it's all going to function. So you just make a check of it each and everything. And there are, so one is a manual hold, one is an automatic credit check hold. Fine, it is not done. So it is not in the what happens? It's not progressing on the do. The do is not getting progressed at all. Fine, it has got stuck at all because of the hold. Now what happens? It is normally related to only payments basically. Fine. Sometimes what happens? The CSR will be discussing with the customer, and then he will now ask for an advance actually. And he says that I will now give it in two hours time. So if it is not two hours time, what happens? You will be raising a manual hold, which you are going to see two hours soon. Right? Manual hold also will not be. So that will also stop shipping basically. If it is what happens, interface to shipping, it will not stop it. Now the credit check hold is not even allowing the due to go further at all. So in this case, what happens after that? The problem problem causing action, the, the cold is now being caused, which is now resolved. Let's say he has now resolved it. Now what happens? The CSR will now go there, go to the actions and then go to these one. So release hold is not there because the order level hold now fine. In the header level it has been done now. So the release is not coming here now. And now click on done and then see on the main line itself. I'm now see on the fulfillment lines actually. Let's go there. On the main line itself, the hold is there now. I go to actions and the release hold is there or not. Ah, uh, it is not there. So we have to go to the header only. Fine. We are unable to do the release of the hold at this place. Fine. Go there. And the top is there. If you go to the actions, apply hold is only there. Fine. We can release hold is now grayed out actually. The release code is grayed out and go to click on done and then we will now come to the main area. So now the main one right here, what happens? We go there. You drop down on the apply hold and go there. The release hold we have made. So we have a release hold only at the main level and not inside actually. If I click on the release hold, I am now going to release the hold. So what is the hold name? And drop down. So it is basically a credit check code and go there. Choose it and then release the reason. Then go there. Click on it now. Find why you want to release. So the credit check failure resolved actually. You can do it now. And then give an appropriate command. In this account, <coughs> and then click on save and close. Which the hold gets released. So once when the hold gets released, the request is being processed and may take some few minutes. So you have to wait for it. Now and click on OK. 
So the hold has to go on and refresh. Upon refresh, the hold will be going. So it's now gone now. So go to the actions and then go to the system fill from view. And whatever you can also see, it has to progress on that. Do now. The do has to progress now. And the tick mark has come up. And you click on it. And then click on the do now. Do number. <coughs> if you click on it. Whatever you can see. The hold has gone now. Now it has to give a tick mark. Now. Click on refresh. It will not go hard on this. So the tick mark has come and then next what happens will be progressing further further. further. Anybody? Sir, yeah. Sir, usually this release should not be done by the who is processing the order now, sir. But CSR is the man, no? he is the in charge. CSR is the guy who has to do all these things. He is the friend so really, of the releasing of the old, usually credit manager or someone. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, there also what happens, the order manager, the uh, in the order order screen itself, what happens? We can very well release it now. Not that you have to go to a different responsibility than EBIS. The person who is creating the sales order can very well release a hold in EBIS also. But here also, what happens? The same person can very well release the hold. Okay. He's allowing it. Just like in EBIS. Maybe some restrictions can be imposed with the security, actually. If you undergo a training on security, they will not teach you, but who and all can do what, what actions, basically. Who can do what on which set of data is the security, actually? So, who can do what on which set of data? That itself is a two full days training in eight hours training in order. Go there. Now, reserve has started. So, let's go there and then what happens? Uh, remove the hold. This is on the credit check hold. No, fine. It's a very simple one. It's not a complex one at all. Fine. And the customer you do it. And then afterwards, what happens? You do it on this. What happens? And the two, two parameters has to be set properly. So, let me remove the parameters so that what happens? If you want to be checking it actually. Manage order management parameters. <laughs> so there is an error message on the status of the order. Now, if you refresh it, it will go. Uh, reservation is not possible. I think probably may we not be having sufficient quantity. I think probably <laughs> if you click on it, the reserve is not getting stuck actually. I don't have sufficient quantity. Also. Yes, create reservation is fine. Okay, it doesn't matter. Fine, reservation because is now greater than the available quantity. So I don't have a sufficient quantity of this item. I'm fine. Everything has been shipped actually. So I don't have, I'm not left with anything as well. That's the reason. Okay, that's all. <clears throat> you go there. And then you go and then search now. Fine. Let us now remove this one. And manage order percentage. Para percentage in the netting now. And go to the parameters. Then you know, disable this host, activate credit check on order submit and go there, click on it now. So, for our business unit, all about that, not activate the credit check now. And then give a save now. <coughs> activate has been made for my business unit now. And then credit check at order failure. You want to go there. So, let me remove this line itself. I don't want this. So, I can click on delete it. It's not getting deleted. That's it. Now, credit check will not be appeared. So, it's a simple one. As Rajita was saying, that what happens, it's a big process in eBiz basically. But here, it's so simple. Right? Enable the include in credit check and then put the limits there in the customer and then do the what's called uh, collect and refresh. And then afterwards, set up these two parameters. And that's it. With the chord up and the most Now, you'll we'll see a manual hold. How to do it? Uh, we can also create our own hold. So, you'll we'll see what, how to create our own hold. <clears throat> Holds and releases. Find the task name is what? Manage whole codes. Find go there. Let us now create for whole code. So manage whole codes is the one. Enter it now. So we'll now create a whole code. And click on the manage whole codes. And then let us now create a whole code. So click on plus now. Fine. Let me create it. <coughs> uh, credit check code. This is a credit. Is there all default ones? Seeded ones now. Fine. Seeded ones you cannot. Is there all the predefined ones? So you cannot do it now. Fine. Let me create a plus and then let me create a one. I will not say it's a D01 underscore what happens a payment hold. It's the advanced payment hold. Advanced percentage. Advanced underscore pay underscore hold. Advanced pay hold. I'm taking copyright now. Create that many holds as per, as, as required by them. And then put the description. And that's it. Fine. And then uh, the set is what uh, you put on the common set. On the common set. Somewhere common sets work, common enterprise set works, somewhere our own sets work. Fine. I couldn't understand this set at all. Fine. Bala is having a lot of query on this set actually. <laughs> and really, I'm very, I couldn't understand this one thing. Save and close. 
we can't apply these orders. Now we will not create a sales order and we will apply one more order. Click on it now. We will not create a sales order. <coughs> order management. And then click on create order now. So we are now creating our own order. Click on D01 now. I don't know which item is having a stock here. Anybody remembering? Because what I'm going to have to apply a whole now. <laughs> Go there. Click on it. So let me put the defaulting now. Anybody remembering my items now? Find D01. Which one is having the stock here? Not control serial control, serial no issues. Uh, they're all maybe having a, what's called lot control will be having some stock. Now, now go only for one now. I demonstrated so many, but I'm forgetting it. Which one is having a stock? <laughs> it's okay. I'll not use the lot control. I'll not choose only one quantity. You know. So click on OK and then click on Add now. I'm not giving all items price that's coming off. I click on over Add now. That's coming. And then since I have given the defaulting, what happens if we go there? It will be having what? Uh, the supply date is now 20 second and then the supply supplementary is also there. So click on Save. So at this time, what happens before booking it? Uh, the customer is told that within two hours time, I'm going to give a payment. Fine. But what happens? He has not done it. So what happens? The CSR can apply a hold itself. And go there. So I'll now go to the lines area. <coughs> And then you go there, go to the actions, and then go to apply hold. Now it's not coming. It's now in the draft stage. Select so, the line, sir. Oh, oh, select the line. Okay, fine. Yes, very correct. Fine. Select the line, and then you go to the what actions, and then go to apply hold. Come on, it's not coming. That means what? Only after booking we can apply hold or what? So maybe put actions and then apply hold. I go there. So it does not book the order. No, fine. Click on submit now. Maybe at the draft stage, it is not possible for us to apply hold because what happens, it is in a tentative stage and then what happens, the processing is not sorted. That may be the reason, fine. That's correct reason. So, you know, processing, fine, here, go there, you go to that, what's called uh, apply hold is there. Fine. Uh, no, line itself is not coming as the apply hold now. Uh, you go there, apply hold. So, let me apply hold now, fine, directly. Fine, click on apply hold now. And then choose a hold now, fine, drop down. <clears throat> so, I have the advanced payment hold, which has been manually created, fine, go there. And then click on save and close now, fine, by which whatever the hold is now getting created. The request is being processed. So we can, and the hold icon is now coming now, and we click on refresh. So we can apply a hold on the, what's called on the header level or on the line level also. And remember, credit check we are able to release only from the header level and not at the, what happens, not at the switch fulfillment view we are unable to do. We'll now go there and see whether we can release it from there or not, and we'll put a switch fulfillment view, whether we can release the hold from there or not, we'll see. So the line is on a hold now, fine, go there, click on it now. And then you go to actions and then go to release hold now. There is no release hold at all here now. And then you now see on this head, head now, fine, go to the actions. So there is one option, holds. No, release holds. Once again, actions. Uh, holds. Uh, holds, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From there you can release it, very good, very good. Very, very good. Fine, on the holds, what happens, we have a release hold, fine, click on the release hold now. I will not try to release it. So click on it and then click on save and close. I think probably it will be releasing. Click on save and close. Release reason. No asking for it. Released because there is in the stock. These are all some list of values. So lookups you have to go and then what happens? Add whatever values you want for the customers and then you know, and make a small RD about where the lookups are available. We can order lookups and then see where the release reason is there and then try to populate whatever values are there. If anybody is found out, please send me in the next class. So what happens? I will now communicate to others. And that's it. All of the hold is gone. So we can even apply a hold at the line level as well as what about the header level and then you can release it from both the places. But credit check can be applied only at the header level and then it can be released only for the header level actually. No, no, I have a question. If I need to see the list of customers who are under that hold, oh. all the list of customers, is there a place for me to check? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> uh, how to see the customers who are on hold? Okay, right? You have to only write a custom report, I think. So we had to go to the OTBA and then uh, make a report for this. I mean, there are so many things that come over here. Fine, here what happens is no fine. There's so much of analytics have come over here. See, okay. So okay. many analytics are there. So one of the analytics may be like this. Now, fine. You have to go and then search for these analytics. Fine. That may even give you something. Fine. It's doing orders in jeopardy, fulfillment on lines, order past you, orders on back order. Fine. There may be something which is on hold. See, orders on hold is available here. So let us now create another hold and then we'll again do it now. So what is the number you have given? Anybody remembering? It has to come in this place actually. You know, release the hold actually. So let me create an order and then see whether it comes in this place or not. <coughs> go there. There's one thing. You are only learning something basic, basically. Right? You have to go dig, dig, and then what happens? I do a lot of things on this one. Then only 
it will be comfortable with windows, windows. i will not put my uh, these uh, my defaulting now the defaulting so let me put the d01 lot control item which is having stock i think what is this d01 <sighs> Mm, D01, where is that lot? Lot control. D, oh, 0102, sorry. That is D0102. There is the item. Oh, then click on add. <clears throat> so everything is now done. Fine, click on save now. And then let me apply hold here. So actions holds is there now. You now see, any apply hold. So hold holds is there. And then apply is possible here. In the draft also, we can do it. So holds apply. Just make an RD on the each and everything. The hold itself, what happens there? In the draft stage itself, we can apply it now. I'm not applying the hold. Let me click on save and close now. Now we'll now see whether it comes outside or not. So 49211 is on a hold now. Fine. Uh, let me submit it also. The 49211 is on a hold. The hold icon is there. So let me submit it. And then give it done now. 49211 is the one. So whether it has to show, you say orders on hold, nothing was there. Now what happens? Something has come. So if we click on this now, it has to give you some value. Behind. So it shows you what happens, which orders are involved. So Rajita, you got the answer first. Thanks, Nana. Minanali here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. So somewhere you had to go and then make a small RNG. These are all the orders involved. So this is on manual holds. Now let us go to the kit item. So let us go to the kit item. So in the kit item, what happens? Is we have got the three things. One is what is the kit is there, and then we are given a price of fifty one dollars. This includes the laptop price as well as the carry case price, which is a free item, as well as the rupees external warranty also. On all three things put together. So let us now put the laptop. Find is a zero one zero nine is the laptop kit. Now find let us now go there and then get the laptop. Find the kits all those. So we'll now populate the customer find day zero one <coughs> customer. So let me put my defaulting now. <clears throat> so D01 defaulting is not put fine. Let's not put D0109, isn't it? D0109 and then your tab. So the 51 price has to come now, fine. The sales price has come. And remember, the kit price must be inclusive of everything now. Fine. Each and everything put together is a price. Fine. Click on add now. Now let me add the individual items also to the line. And you can see what happens. The three lines are now shown here. There's a kit actually. It consists of a laptop, it consists of a carry case, as well as it comes with an extended warrant. If you click on the more, what happens? It will not show you everything. If you click on more now, it will not show you everything. So it shows you that what happens, the hierarchical bill which is there actually. So it may even a multi, it may even be a multi-level bill also. For example, the what happens, the laptop will be having one, what happens, it will be having a one a P4 uh, motherboard and then something like that. And then uh, A will be having B and C, B will be having D and E. Likewise, what happens? It may even have a multi-level bill actually. So the kit is now done. Fine. Click on done. No, no. Now let me add the individual components also, right? Laptop as well as carry case and warranty everything. So laptop is a zero one one zero and then one one and then one two. Let me add it now. So D zero one one zero. I am going to add it now. So I will now put two quantities for this now. I'm going to make it as a two quantities. I'm going to click on add now. So laptop is two quantities, but then zero one one two, zero one one one, and then zero one one two also. I'm going to add it. I'm going to add. So D zero one one one. I'm going to give it a tap. So this is a long book for three quantities now. Three quantities. And then give a tab and then click on add now. And then D0112. D0112. And then give a tab. This will be for four quantities. So in the kit also there, as our individual items are also there. Right? As individual items also there. So one, two, three, four data. As a kit, we have it. And then we have a laptop carry case and the warranty also excellent. Now let me go and then save it and then we will now submit the order for processing. And remember, I don't have any stock for the laptop as well as carry case. Now. Fine. As of now, we don't have any stock at all. Fine. Now reservation will fail actually. Then go there, click on submit now. So the reservation is going to fail actually. Let's click on submit now. So the reservation will be failed. So 49212 is now done. Go there. We'll now go and then have a look at it. What are the actions? And then go to the system for people here. We've got three components. And then if you go there, you can now see that what happens if you expand this line now. If you expand this line, what happens? It will show you all the components of it and expand it. And then go there. It will show all the only three components. It has got three components. One, 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 two, one, one, three, one. Fine, like with the three components of that. Go there. You'll be having a do number now. Fine. And remember, every every fulfillment line will be having a separate do number now. 
point separate. But now it's now showing only a common orchestration process number. Now, once again, is a common number or a different number? Uh, it's all common. Number. Okay, when you see the first three are having the same number, the first four are having the same number. There's this alone is not the two one is having a separate number, the three one is having a separate number, and then four one is having a separate number because they are all separately added actually. So the kit along with this components are having a common do number. They are all having a common one. That means what? They will all be together actually. These four will be together actually. Fine. First two four will be. One is the kit and then next is laptop. Another is the carry case and then another warranty. All the four are put together. Whereas the remaining three individually added, what happens? They will be having a separate do number. The do numbers are there. So click on what happens? The refresh now. Right. The scheduling will be succeeding because what happens? There is no problem at all. So we don't have any problem. But what happens? We got a XXX everywhere. Fine. XXX everywhere. Because what happens? The reservation is failed actually. So click on refresh now. So what happens? The reservation has failed. If you go there and then keep your cursor on this now, fine. Go there and then click on the X mark. The reservation will fail. So since we don't have any quantity, what happens? It will be like the last one. Fine, you can see create reservation has failed. If you go and see the last one, what happens? You can see we are not having sufficient quantity. The reservation was not created because what happens? We don't have sufficient quantity. So the 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 natural DOO, the default DOO will not allow you to inter interface it to shipping if you don't have any on hand quantity at all. I don't know about the last item, which is only a bill only item that has been uh, it has gone to awaiting billing there. So that means what it has now gone. And then once when I run the auto invoice, what happens? The line will now get closed actually. So this line will be getting closed. Once when I run it, then I'll run it and then show it to you. So let us not run it. So we'll not go and then run it. Because there is a bill only item now. So there is a bill only item. And so what happens? Once when you run the concurrent, it will be getting closed. Order invoice import to the concurrent now. Fine, go the click on it. Should it import? Should a new process? <coughs> so it is auto invoice IMP percentage and then give it as new. And so it's new. Ah. What is the concurrent name here? Click on search now. It is an import order. No, sorry, I made a mistake now. It is the import order invoice now. Go there, click on OK. And then we have to pass on our order number now. Fine. What is the order number now? 49212 is the one. And go there. So I will now make the transaction source as what? Do now. Do is the transaction source. And then 49212 is the number now. Go there. From sales order number is 49212. And then give a tab now. So click on submit by which what happens it gets submitted. And then upon completion, what happens? The do gets completed for this line actually. The do begins upon submission, and then once when the line gets closed, what happens? It will be done. Now already the line has gone to awaiting billing now. It has got interface to AR uh, the interface tables. Now, once when you import it, what happens? That line will get closed actually. And remember, CSRs are responsible. For the management to what happens to close the lines up to closure, what happens is the responsibility. So once when it is closed, it is the AR's responsibility to collect the money actually. So they normally have a discussion in the evening about the, they have around 500 lines out of which what happens the 350 is now closed and then they will now report about the remaining lines and which state is actually. So that way they discuss with the management because they are the breadwinner for the company because they are bringing in uh, sales basically. So even what happens the top people also will be having a very close uh, discussion with the uh, sales team actually. Now let me refresh it now. Fine, go there. So the last one is not having any problem at all. Fine, go there. Is awaiting billing. Go there. Click on refresh now. Fine. Once when you refresh it, it will be showing you this now. So that will be line will be closed actually because now it is not uh, uh, do the what happens the notify feeder system. Fine, that is also there. Fine, go there. Notify feeder system of the receivable transactions is now notified also. It has notified the order entry. Go there. So it is now closed. If you go there and then click on done and then come out of the main line. <coughs> go there. Get what happens? The fourth line would have been closed. So here it says it is not started, fine. Whereas the three links there, fine, well, there's no schedule to schedule. Fine, well, the reservation is not up. Now let me keep some stock over here. Laptop and carry case, I'm going to give a stock. So let us now keep some stock on this. You go to the inventory for the laptop and then carry case. Fine, well, click on it now. And then you go to the create miscellaneous transaction now. So the organization is a D011 and then give a tap and then click on OK now. And then not done. Fine, go the type is M and then give a tab now. And then choose the miscellaneous result on this now. Fine, click on OK now. Account is 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1000. Put it in now. 
This account has to be discussed with the financial team and then oh, popular you know, fine, click on plus no fine, let me add the item. So the 10th and 11th item, I'm going to have it. So click on plus no. So let us know how the stock of 10th and 11th. Click on plus no. It's a D0110 and then give it a tap. There's the laptop. I'll go there. I'll not keep it on the FGS now. Keep it on the FGS. And then say 1000 corners. And then click on it and then the carry case also, I'll not keep it. And click on plus no. Fine. Laptop and carry case. The laptop is 10 and then the carry case is 11 now. Fine. D0111 and then give it a tap. And the carry case. Remember, it is only a shippable item actually. And click on it now and then drop it down. And then go to the FGS. And then let us now go and then save submit now and click on submit. So we have sufficient quantities of the shippable items basically. And now whenever such a thing happens, what you have to do is you have to only run a concurrent. No need to collect and refresh, remember. When I, what is called, if you go and then see this place, fine. If you go there, click on account. So if you go to the, what's called the supply chain planning and then go to the plan inputs. So in the plan inputs, <clears throat> there are two types of data is there. And we'll click on it now. And then if you go and then collect it. So here, if you put this now, make it as OPS. Now, this is called the static data. Static data is what approved supply list, catalog, categories, currencies, etc. Et and then this is called the dynamic data. If any of the dynamic data changes, no need to collect at all. So what you have to do is you have to run a concurrent called what? Start real-time updates. So once when you start the real-time updates, what happens? It is equivalent to collection plus refresh actually. Refresh and start is the one, so it is equal to one. So run that concurrent only when these data changes. If a dynamic data changes, what happens? You can just simply run the what happens? The start refresh. That will be getting uh, what happens? That will be uh, what happens coming into the order area, order entry area. So we go there. Let us now run the concurrent. So go to the schedule process now. <clears throat> so click on the schedule process and then click on schedule process and then what happens? The start real time updates. <clears throat> go there. Start. So we have a pro, what happens? We have a stock now. So Dasaradhan are you there? So he can also try because he is not always running the collection on the targeted mode. Right? A very big one. So if there is only a real time updates, what happens? We can even do this update. Thank you. Okay, no, fine. Start real time update the one concurrent. Thank you. Okay, no. And remember this concurrent will be ending in an error, but doesn't matter, but it does the job actually. Thank you. It will be giving a warning, I think. Sometimes it gives a warning, sometimes it ends in error, but it does the job. That is the biggest thing. And then it does pass, basically. So start real-time updates, I'm doing it for a dynamic one. So that will be coming into the order entry area as such. So it has now ended up in a warning. Right? So fast it has gone. Now let us now recover the process in this place. So the real-time update has happened. This is equivalent to what? Your collections plus refresh and start. Fine. Both the things are now done together. Fine. Go there. Click on it now. So in the order management, what happens? You'll be having so many X marks on this now. Fine. Go there. So this laptop is having X mark. And then uh, this one, this one, everything is now having X mark. Fine. Go there. What are the actions? I'm going to switch from view. What is the switch to from view now? Now here, we will now do the recovery of this. Fine. Go there. So we have got so many X. So we'll now go to the actions and then go to the, uh, what happens? Recover the order. So recovery, uh, one, this is uh, because of one, uh, what happens? One rule now. When the recovery manager role, something like that, I have already told you, fine, please take, take a note of it and then add it to your users now. And go there. You can even add it to all the CSRs actually. <clears throat> go there. So once when you refresh, what happens? Immediately the X mark, the, the X mark will go away. And then it will not check. And then if the X mark is there, what happens? It will again put a check mark. And the first time when you go to it, when you refer it, what happens? It will first of all remove all the X marks now. Upon, uh, what happens? And if the condition causing is really still there, what happens? The X mark will again put. Now X mark is all gone now. All the X have gone now. And then what happens if the condition is causing the problem, then again, it will not put X mark, but the condition has not caused because the start real time update has now updated the order entry area. And then what happens? They say order, order sends, or sales order can sense the data. And remember shipping do not need any concurrence at all. If you make a change and then what happens is already back order. And if you receive something on the inventory, if you again do the launch pick release, it will not pick up the stock. So for the shipping and then inventory, it's a one-to-one -one link. And then you do not have to have a refresh and start as well as you do not have a real time real time updates basically. Only for shipping and then inventory. Remember, they are all what happens uh, transactional systems, they are what happens uh, linked perpetually. One to one link is there. Now, if you go there, what happens? This is this thing would have progress now. You go and then select any of them. So whichever is having this now, go there, click on it now. And then I will now open up the DO number. Do number I will know. Here it is now showing as a as what's called a bill now. Find the parent over there. Now it is now reserved. It is now going to wedding shipping. 
file will go to avoiding shipping now. Go there, click on done now. Fine. Likewise, what happens? Everything would have gone to avoiding shipping. So the system status, what happens? We can observe here itself. No need to what happens is go, the, go to the duo number now. So here itself we can also see. And remember, uh, these two are what happens? Uh, this is a laptop separate one, and then this is a carry case now. These two are awaiting shipping, and then all the three are awaiting shipping. Even though the first item is a kit, actually, the first item is a kit, the second one is a laptop, the third one is a carry case, and then for this one, it has not started at all. Fine. This is a warranty which is now clubbed with the billing now. And remember, only when everything becomes ready, it will now kick start. Till the time, what happens? Uh, the warranty will not kick start at all because it is a component of a kit, actually. Whereas a separate uh, warranty has got closed, actually. It has gone to awaiting billing. Now it will not start at all. So only when you, when you, when you ship it, what happens? It will now go to what? The next status actually. The status of the warranty will now update only on the next status. The item code is not there. Again. Anyway, you can understand. This is basically what? It's a uh, warranty now. That is why shipping method, nothing is now coming over there. And all these things are not coming for the warranty. So it belongs to a kit, and so what happens? It is not started now. Now let us go there and then we'll not ship it. It's a 49212 now. Fine, 49212. So let us go there and then do it now. So click on this one. I'll now make one more. Go there, paste it over here now. Fine, and so we are now making one more tab region. So here I will now go to the inventory and then go to the shipping now. Thank you, go to the inventory. So click on the inventory management. Any doubts still now? No, no, I have a doubt. Yeah. Actually, when we ship the item, that's when we have the warranty. And after the warranty expires, that's when we have the extended warranty. So even when the item has not been shipped. Mm. How come the extended warranty was already shipped and closed? It is not shipped at all. Mother. My extended warranty was never shipped at all. When the last one, as soon as they submit it, it has gone to awaiting billing here now. So once when I run the auto invoice, auto import invoice, it has got closed. It has never shipped. Warranty is not a shippable item. It is only a billable item. Actually. It's a service item, yes. Service so item. my question is that without the warranty being active, how come the extended warranty, there was a... There is only what is just create only a warranty item, whether it's a warranty or external warranty. So one of them was linked along with the parent actually. This is actually the first line is a kit actually. In the kit, we have got a laptop, we have got a carry case as well as a warranty. All the three are clubbed together in this now. So that is why what happens, it is not kick starting at all. Because this waits for all of the things to be fulfilled actually. So these two are the shippable items, they have to get fulfilled. Only when they are fulfilled, then only what happens, warranty will now become ready for uh, doing an activity actually. So yep, got it. Yeah. Since they are not shipped, what happens is now still not started. Whereas since it's a separate line, the billable line has gone to awaiting billing and then upon running the order invoice, what happens it has got closed. Anybody has got any other doubts? Only when you perform the shipping, then only what happens is the warranty which forms part of the kit will be what happens going to the next stage as such. Go there, go to this place, and then go to the shipments now, go to the manage shipment lines. Four nine two one two, no? What are the number yes? Four nine two one two, yes. Go there. I will not put the 49212 is the one bank over there and then drop. This is the idiotic one. I mean, somebody please raise a sign. I want a blank one over here. Blank is not there. Click on search. <clears throat> you can now see all the lines are there. Right? The laptop, the carry case, the laptop and the carry case. Now. And it's one, one, and then two and three. So the one, one belongs to the kit actually. The two and three are separate ones. Is what has come. So what you can do is you can even create a common shipment also, or otherwise, what happens? You can even create a separate shipment also. So let me get a common shipment. Find the control. What happens? You select it, select it, select it, and then select it, and then we will now create one auto create shipment for all the four lines put together. Since what happens? All of them are having the ISF and UST is same. ISF stands for initial ship from, and then UST stands for ultimate ship too. So if ISF and UST are same, we can very well tub them into one shipment actually. So go there. So since the initial ship from and the ultimate ship to is same, what happens? You are not clubbing everything with the control, and then click on the auto create shipment. So by which what happens? The shipment number will get created. Now. So there's one shipper number 410025 is not created. And now you click on the shipment and then let me do the pick release. And we have sufficient quantities because of which only it has got interfaced into what I was uh, shipping execution because the default one will not check for the reservation actually. Now you go to the, go to the actions and then what happens? Go to the launch pick release. So it will be coming as a staged one. Fine, go there, click on OK, fine, cancel it. So it was in a ready to release state actually. And you cancel. So it was a ready to ready to release now. Fine. If you require it, what happens? It will be going to staged one. So I will now again click on this now and click on it and then come back now. The concurrent is running. The ready to release now come as a stage. Now what happens is now come as a stage. Now I will now do the ship confirmation for it. So I will now say number one is one, 
is also one quantity fine. How much you want to ship? I'm not putting enough fine for that one now. So here I'm not putting it as two, and then here I'm putting it as three. Let me perform a ship confirmation directly. So it has now come to the staging area. So we are going to ship confirm. So two of them contribute to what? The main say or kit actually, and then these are all assorted components actually. And go there, click on it, and then we'll see. But how they are going to behave now? Click on ship confirmation now. Uh, we are running it and then we have to wait for this. And so much of a warning of weight and volume is coming. Fine, well, this is only for the Oracle transportation management now. Fine, we can ignore those warnings. Fine, chalega yaar. Fine, and click on S now. Fine, by which the warning message is ignored now. So it is not done. Fine, well, so what happens? We getting close. And we go to the manage orders. We have to click on refresh now. We now see how the status changes. So we have to wait for this. What happens? The send shipment advice over now. Fine. The send shipment advice will now interface it to order entry now. The shipping execution will be interfaced to order entry upon. On the send shipment advice now. Fine, well, so the ship confirmation documents, everything is running. I remember these things has to print actually. And then the printing, I'm still finding a doubt now. If anybody finds out, it should not error out actually. If it's erroring out, what happens? The printing is not exactly happening now. All the reports must be very properly print, printed. So there I have a small doubt on this one. So somebody, if they can find out, see the error should not come out. The bill of lighting should not go in the error. Now. Maybe the printer is not connected. Because the printer, it's okay. If the printer is not connected because of it's running out, it's okay. Otherwise, it has to succeed in the field actually. So do a small R and D on the all the documents to be printed actually. So the send shipment advice is the one which will be interfacing it to uh, order entry actually. The shipping is usually be running it now. So only when you run it. Many people will be deferring it actually because what happens? They want the vehicle to reach the customer's place, and then the driver will now give a call from the customer side, sir, I have delivered it. Then they will now run it manually for the shipment number. Send shipment advice will be run manually. So it all depends upon the practice which they have to do accordingly. And when they now succeed and open, go the click on it. Now we are going to refresh. Remember, the first three lines are awaiting shipping, even though this is not going to be shipped. Remember, and then this has not started. And then these two are awaiting shipping. And now see what happens. Now click on refresh. Now. So once when it is refreshed, what happens? You now see, you now see what is happening. Go there, go up. So they are all shipped. Fine. It is now gone to awaiting billing now. Fine. Now what happens? This has also gone to awaiting billing. It is not going to waiting billing. <clears throat> so it is not shipped and then this is not started now. Fine. So this has gone to waiting billing and then what happens? This has got closed actually. <clears throat> Fine. Because it's a this item. Can you tell me this is a basically what? Uh, it's a like, carry case now. Fine. Why the carry case has got closed? Anybody? Only shippable, not billable. Only shippable and not billable. Exactly. Fine. It is only shippable and not billable because of which it has got closed now. Fine. The carry case is only billable and not shippable. And what else? So here, what happens? It is not shipped, shipped, and so here also, what happens? Uh, here, it is now part of this component, and so what happens? Uh, this fulfillment has not started. Fine. Now that will now start. And this is also start. This is not kick started. I click on refresh now. Fine. Refresh and then see. You now see what happens. If you go there, it's still coming as not started. I don't know why. Fine. This is now an individual uh, laptop, so it has now gone to this place now. Fine, go there. So these two lines are closed because what happens? It is only a laptop. It is only a carry case, and so it has got closed now. Fine. This is no, not. Don't we have to run an order capture program to create the service contracts? Service contract is a separate one. I don't For know. For the warranties. Yeah, yeah. Warranties and everything will be coming under service contract now. Fine. Service contract, I don't know. But how to do that, I don't know. Fine. Now we are only talking about a kit item actually. It is not a service contract actually. Service yeah, contract is separate. Is it warranty part of the kit? Yes, sir. Here, we made it as a kit, part of a kit now. Fine. We made it as a part of a kit now. But it's still saying it is not started. Anyhow, what happens? Uh, we are not going to bill on this now. Fine. Billing will now take place only for this item actually. Only for the kit we will not bill it. The remaining will only remain as shipped only. Fine. Go there. And then click on refresh now. Now let us go there and then run the order invoice now. Import order invoice. <clears throat> so now. We will now see how it's happening. Fine. I have only one doubt on this now. Fine. This is the one which has to. Oh, oh is now saying has not started. I couldn't understand. Because there is no shippable activity on the warranty. And then uh, there is no billable activity also on the warranty. So that's why it's now remaining as a not started. Actually. Maybe. That may be the reason. Now let us now run the import order invoice on this. So 4921 is the one. I will click on new process. And then we will now run it. It's on order invoice. It's import or invoice or fine. Okay, okay now. Click on okay. We're importing it now. So it's again a do now. Go there. So go there and then put the sales order number over here. The from sales order number is 49212. 49212. And then we have the two numbers will be coming now. From sales order two. And now submit. 
now once when this is now completed what happens all the lines will be getting closed now everything will be closed now. all of them will be getting closed now. because all the activity of the do do do's are completed now so everything is get completed now see all of them will be completed. so import auto invoice is running now so you know it has to notify the feeder system now right the feeder system is busy as well you go to the one now and that will be notified now and now succeeded and go there and then click on refresh so you can now see the lot of everything will be closed actually right? so it is built actually it is not coming as built and then what happens the next step is closed actually next step will be closed you click on refresh now see all are closed it is built and then closed and remember you will have a bill only for the first line the second third fourth is not there the fourth line was saying as not started not started and then once when you run the import order invoice what happens that goes to close from not started to closed directly because it doesn't have any intermediate state what happens now remaining is not started so this is a billable line so what happens we will have a what happens a bill for this now we will have a bill for this now and then we will have a bill for this there will be three lines and now go on and how it will and there will be three billable lines there Is a good space, so it's all completed now. And over there, so we'll now go to the receivables and then have a look at the bill now. You go to the receivables and then go to the what's called billing now. So let's now go to the managed transactions and have a look. Click on it now. We'll now go to the managed transactions. So we'll now have a look at the bill. So go there. The transaction type is do now. Do is a one, and then put the reference number as what four nine two one two, and then give it a tab, and then click on search now. We'll be having a thing, and then click on the hyperlink on the what happens your bill now. <clears throat> so these are only two things which I'll give you. So go there. Oh God, there comes a two different bills because the first bill has already got made now, uh, and then you know how we look at the bottommost bill now, fine. Because that is for the separate warranty actually. Fine, four point two eight is the two eight is the warranty now. You go there, and then there is the extended warranty for four quantities. There is no separate now, fine. There is no coming, and then click on cancel now, and then click on the first one. That has got separately got interface to here. So this one, you now go there, and then you can see the what happens. We have a laptop kit for fifty-one dollars, and then what happens? The laptop itself for the what happens? The one point nine dollars for two quantities. So the carry case is not a, what's called a thing, and then the external warranty is separately built out. This completes the kit actually. Fine, it's slightly complex now. Fine, you go and then take notes of it, and then see how it is all is now happening. Actually. Any doubts on this? No. It's going above your head, da. <laughs> Too much of stuff is flowing in, na. No, no, I have a doubt. What happens to the warranty item? That is what is coming. It's a warranty. Fine. The extended warranty is a service contract item, which I, I don't know how to do that now. Fine. I'll be coming during pricing actually. I will come to the extended warranty, which is now part of what happens here, service contract. I am still struggling, and then I will now leave it as a lab exercise for you. But here, what happens is we make it as what only a billable item. Actually, we have to call in the sales orders. It's a billable item, or a shippable item, or a billable and shippable. That way, only we call the warranty. Right? How to make a service contract item will now complete a bit later. Right? There is a different one altogether. Okay. Okay. A service contract is for what? It is a extended warranty is a service contract, and then what happens is you are now going to buy some magazines every week. You are going to buy. And then what happens? We are going to make a payment on every week. Fine, subscription. Fine, there is a one. And then similarly, what happens? There are uh, things are there. They are all coming under service contract. Actually. And uh, both the extended warranty as well as subscription is not working. Or other, I don't know how to do that actually. I tried to simulate that on the mission instance, but even then it is not working. So let us again uh, uh, do the attempt while you are doing the pricing actually. Okay. Okay. Manoj. Are you there? Yeah, no, no, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> You're listening to this now. Yes, yes, yeah, I do. Anybody has got any doubts? Mohan is clear, na? Vijay, is it clear? Yes, sir, it's clear. Very good, very good. Sir, so how many topics pending, sir? 
oh god uh, one guy has already asked me why is <laughs> question <laughs> two guys in fact what happens they saying that what happens sir uh, in hyderabad they conduct seven modules fine and then they charge 20000 rupees so the charges are almost like yours but they complete everything within less than a week's time and you are taking so much of time even for one module bob i asked him what is this here you know, inventory you for one week and then purchasing for one week and then uh, you are taking too much of a time <laughs> i asked him is uh, if i take a too much of a time that means what you are bad or good uh, he is saying sir i got to float my resume why the program is not over i'm <laughs> worried from that <laughs> <laughs> Is a real funny thing. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, will you please complete it by this week? I don't know. No, no, no. This week is not possible. You know, spill over to the next week. No. <laughs> it's a depressing thing. Hyderabad is kind of kit. Uh-huh. So the kit concept is the same as EBS, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the same as EBS. Hey, Srinivas, can you share your experience on the Hyderabad Institutes? You are talking to me now. <laughs> Srinivas, are you there? You are telling us, you are shouting like anything. Else. They, these guys uh, read the PPTs, PowerPoints, and then uh, what happens? Uh, PowerPoints will no give you. Okay, fine. Anybody can read, sit and then read. A PowerPoint is also required, actually. For that. But in a training program, what happens if you start to read the PowerPoint? There is not a meaning. So you give the PowerPoint to everybody and then let them read in the leisurely pace. And then here in the class, what happens? You must see the, how it's all being done, actually. <coughs> Let's say a picture is worth. Thousand words like that. What happens? Your yeah, practice will now teach you a lot. Actually, it will now make you go inside and then do a lot of warranties and then here and there. Yes, Nana, hundred percent agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just look and feel. Yeah, yeah. It's good that I mean concept, then yeah. processes, exactly. transactions, and all. Yeah, that is very important. You know, I don't know much because what happens in my implementation, I have done a very simple implementation, and I have learned something more here and there. Uh, but what happens? I give you a very strong base, basically. The fundamentals will now become strong. What happens? You can very well do an R and D and then identify so many things. Okay. Any doubts? Okay then, we'll now call it a day now. We'll now, we'll now continue tomorrow. Nana, Sentil sent any document from GOP, non-GO. Uh, Sentil has sent something else, not on the GOP. Fine, I got a document on GOP and non-GOP from uh, some other people now, fine? not Sentil alone. Uh, and then I have already loaded those documents on the GOP part. Fine? Even okay. though because my knowledge on GOP is also very minimal actually, I will be teaching you the basics of GOP. And then you go through the document, and then if you're finding anything interesting, what happens? It'll be very useful for you. Uh, uh, one day. I, yeah, there are some five documents you have uploaded. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two of them are on GOP actually. Okay. I, I think uh, uh, Sai has uh, given you a very good document regarding what happens uh, customer acceptance actually. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, it is there. You yeah. It's very very difficult for me to understand actually. So how to make a what happens a DOO customization by introducing a past task? You just go through this now. Fine. Sai has given that that document. I have added now. Mm-hmm. I don't know when I am going to read all this thing. Fine. <laughs> so if I read it, I will definitely uh, give a. I will now make a video and send it to you. Even after the training is over, actually, the training will now extend for the sixth week also. I am here on the fifth week actually. Fine. Uh, please, please don't feel that what happens. Uh, I am not taking too much of time because what happens? It ta- takes some time to what happens? Uh, d- d- digest and then uh, what happens? Uh, discuss the topics. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's good, Nana. I, I don't have any issue. When I got his call, I was totally stunned on the hearing that now. <laughs> when yeah, yeah, but it is good no. for us only. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. We discuss so many things, and maybe even I'm making, making more time basically. But I myself is very fast actually. I'm not a slow guy as such. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nana. Uh, I think uh, like last week, uh, Rajita was asking <coughs> how to say whether uh, we have opted for global order promising or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, share... the document, yeah mm-hmm. No, no. How Sorry. to check? No, no. How to check whether we have opted for global order promising? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you can share your skin, I can tell you where to go and check. Very good. Very good. Let me show you. Share it. So go to set up and maintenance. <coughs> Second. 
So actually, GOP is part of uh, supply chain planning. Uh -huh. so Remember, Vijay support. is from development, or development actually. Okay. We can't now and go there. Actions. Actions, offerings, go to offerings. offerings. Yeah, go to supply chain planning below. Below. Huh? Below, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, supply chain planning. Supply chain planning, you go there. Yeah. It is enabled opt in features, no? Yes. Opt in features. Here yeah. you can see global order promising. Is it enabled? Thank you, Vijay. Yeah. No problem, man. Nice. So, this is how we have to check whether it's installed or not. Good. <coughs> Good then. So bye for now. Bye bye, Nana. Thank you, Nana. Yeah. It's good to hear. Yeah. 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 Bye. Bye. Bye, Nana, sir. Good bye. night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Nana. Bye. Bye. Bye.